Lab does. So I can show you on my and just show you again how you can look at things a little differently for you guys. So this may or may not help you for your practice tomorrow. <laughs> So first, from the front side here, again, this is my mink. So if you open it up now, see the difference? It's beautiful. So Thank you. So right in here, you can see a couple different muscles, like three namely. So two digastrics in the middle here, this is mylohyoid. On the side right here, the big round muscle is masseter. Up on top, this would be temporalis. Okay? So now, put this back together in the neck. These two muscles are sternomastoid. Open them up, like so. You have two long, thin, parallel muscles, sternohyoids. Okay, so those are sternohyoids. Now, you guys also had sternothyroid, which uh, these scissors are too blunt to dissect it out, but it's deep to this muscle. We have a thyroid gland. Okay, thyroid gland, I don't mind, kind of like right in here, so I'm going to bury it. Okay, those are the two thyroid glands right there, but you can still see sterno. Thy sternohyoid muscles, okay? Down here we can see three muscles. Oh, what the heck? Okay. So you have first clavodeltoid, pectoralis major, pectoralis minor. Okay? On this side they're dissected out of the way. Pull this back now. There are the arm muscles. Okay? So first, right in here, imagine I'm doing like a little flex for us. Okay? So that's biceps brachii. Right here, medial head of the triceps. Long head of the triceps, everybody's favorite muscle, dorso epitrochlearis. Now in my mink, again, hard to see because I want to keep these nerves intact. Way underneath there, that's subscapularis. And then right in here would be teres major. But again, the 220 lab doesn't dissect those out, so they're a little bit different for you guys then. Okay? Uh, next, you can see right down the very center here, rectus abdominis. And I just do, again, external oblique. I don't make the little window for the internal oblique. So difference in the different lab sections. On the thigh here, whoop, get the testis out of the way. Okay? So first two muscles we're going to see here, sartorius and gracilis. Pull these back now, and this is what I was trying to show you before. So now we can see all the muscles intact are kind of the way they're supposed to look. Um, Semi-tendinosis, semi-membranosis, adductor femoris or magnus, right here is adductor longus. See one, two, three, four muscles. In between these two, way down in there, is where you'd find brevis, way in there somewhere, okay? So that's why you can't see it. Or up here, you'd also see it, but very deep in the other muscles we just talked about. And then way up here, again, you can't even see it. It's too far underneath this nice artery and vein. That's where iliopsoas would be. So again, you saw Dr. Longus, Dr. Femoris, semi-tendinosis, or semi-membranosis, semi-tendinosis right in there. Medially now, or sorry, laterally, we have vastus medialis, rectus femoris, vastus lateralis, and right in here is tensor fascia latte, okay? On the front of the mink's leg, here would be tibialis anterior, okay? On the back side, okay, back down, okay? So first, on the back, the bacon muscle, cutaneous maximus, right in here, the little butt, Gluteus maximus, not very maximus at all on this mink. Uh, right here, well, no, yeah, underneath here, let me see, right on this mink, by accident, you know, I guess my 220 lab doesn't do this, but right there is gluteus medius. So that I did accidentally. So gluteus medius, more superficially, gluteus maximus. You also asked about caudo femoralis or femorocoxygeus. See it coming down like this. Again, my mink a little chewed up here, but that's femorocoxygeus, just it's like a that. Mink, I'm not okay? Lie. So right in here was tensor fascia latte again. This is vastus lateralis. Then, we'll pull it back out of the way here. Biceps femoris. This is tenuissimus, also cut. I just reflected it back out of the way there. Nice big sciatic nerve, okay, like that. Then sciatic nerve sits right on top of semimembranosis. By the tail, semi-tendinosis. On the back side here is gastrocnemius. So okay? this tendinosis? Tendinosis and semimembranosis. Okay, up in here, other muscles in the back. Um, this is serratus ventralis. ventralis or anterior, serratus dorsalis or posterior, and sacrospinalis. Okay? Up here with the mink's head, let's put all these back the way they normally would have been. Oh, don't do that, that's a nasty sound. A high pitch sound. So we see three muscles here clavotrapezius, acromiotrapezius, spinotrapezius. Also out here in the arm, dorsoepitrochlearis, triceps long head triceps lateral head, brachialis muscle, okay? Also right here, if you look carefully, I'll show you just for you 230 people. Don't worry, I know what I'm doing. 
Okay. So again, this was supraspinatus, infraspinatus. Right here is a chromiodeltoid. Now we can see all three deltoid muscles: spinodeltoid, a chromiodeltoid, clavodeltoid. Okay, all going around the shoulder. Spinodeltoid, a chromiodeltoid, clavodeltoid. So the big muscle on top here, again, this is supraspinatus. Here's the line that separates supraspinatus from a chromiodeltoid. Okay, but shows up really nice on this meat. Uh, open these muscles up here. Again, a little different than what you guys did. So first, this was platysma. Put it back out of the way. In the neck, rhomboidus cervic cervicus, or cervicus, you can say either way. Rhomboidus capitis, atlantoscapularis. Levator scapula or homo cervicalis. Here was clidomastoid. Deep to rhomboidus capitis. This is splenius capitis. That's all the deeper I go in the 220 lab. All right. Uh, let's see what else we have. Can we I see think. from there? Uh, no, you really can't. But just I said it's 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 deep deep splenius capitis is right here. Splenius. That's but the splenius is splenius also capitis. right by the serratus ventralis, like that's where we kind learned of, it. Kind of also, yeah, it goes yeah. down here a little bit deeper. That's how she. So again, so again, you don't want to go, um, you know, too, uh, you know, on this meat, I don't want to, because it's going to be different from my 220 lab. But that's kind of the big muscles. Uh, also here, what do we have? Um, external oblique, like we saw on the other side here. Oh, just a missed side. Okay, pretty big there. It's from, see, this is what I was showing you guys to free up the arm. I totally cut away the system's dorsi, and on the front side, you cut pec major and minor. That allows this arm to do this. You can see things much easier that way. That's why I was saying difference in techniques. You can see the arm muscles yeah. being a little easier. Yeah, big okay. Arms. okay, I know he's a, he's Popeye. You know, he's a strong sailor. He okay. had a lot of spinach so, in his right. day. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so that's um, you know these are the major muscles we can see at least for the 220. You guys are listed a little bit longer compared to what they do. Okay. But the key point is to show you a little different dissection, so the way I cut open versus the way you might have did it like, like as part of your life. And so the biceps brachii, where is that again, versus the brachialis? So the biceps brachii is under. Biceps, biceps brachii is on the medial side of the arm. Brachialis is on the lateral side of the arm. In minks, in humans, one is right underneath the other. In humans, biceps brachii are superficial to brachialis muscle. Okay. Okay, remember, minks, humans were like this, minks are on all fours like that. That's why the muscles are turned around a little differently.